So I am inside the concourse hall at Union Station today, and I'm going to be taking you to a very interesting sign inside of Union Station that has quite a history here and Union Station was began construction back in 1914 during World War One and materials were difficult to get so Union Station didn't open until 19. 27 and it literally was the entry point for a lot of people who immigrated to Canada and to this city Toronto and Union Station has 300,000 people traveling through it every day and this is one of the older historical parts of Union Station and it was given National Historic was declared a National Historic Site back in 1975 by Parks Canada and this part of the station is architecturally just beautiful and Union Station has stayed and been a solid transportation hub for almost a hundred years now. And from the Great Hall, I am walking down to where the Via trains are. And this would take you to many provinces throughout Canada. That there in the corner is where the washrooms are. And at one time, that was actually an area where they had enclosed phone booths. And you can see that the old bench is still there. There used to be a phone there and a phone there and you could actually sit there and make phone calls but now they have since removed the old phones they have one newer phone still there and I am going to be walking through this transit hub here and they still have maintained the old doors and right here they have a number of show displays and they give you the history of Union Station and Via Railway here but one of the show displays that really pops out to me is this one on the eastern side of the train station here and it is the stories of immigration at Union Station and they have a number of historical artifacts in this show display and like I said earlier a number of immigrants this would have been their entry point to Canada and to Toronto and as you can see they have luggage oh vintage luggage there Shoes, postcards, and 
people arriving to Canada would have so many hopes and dreams and at one time Toronto would have been a very fruitful place for people arriving from other parts of the world but it is not so inviting anymore and I'm going to be heading towards that sign that I wanted to share with everybody today and I'm going past some more of the show displays and Union Station has been undergoing a number of revitalizations over the last few decades to make it the transit hub and gem of Toronto that it rightly deserves to be. And the sign that has brought me here today is this one right here. And it has been here for decades and it is on both sides of this marble wall in bright fireman red with an old arrow and it says two city bill and it's actually on both sides and so if you were newly arrived in this city this is what you would have seen and these signs here definitely take you back to a simpler time in the city there really was no direction or information other than these two signs to cityville and what makes the city and i would say people the neighborhoods the energy, look at the architecture on this station, it's just incredible. And Toronto used to be a very, I would say simpler city and offering a lot to people arriving here but now policies are changing and we're less inviting to newcomers than we once were for a number of reasons But isn't it nice to revisit a sign that brings back a simpler time? <laughs> 